launcher? Really? Every night. Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? 
The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Gio. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Nice job, super cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Joe. No! this world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you, if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Finally over. So long, Arcee. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. 
human greed.